It's a couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some B and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one arrival. This part of our culture, you gotta be fly. Round floor with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nikes over out of these straight. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day. This Saturday, we are going to be taking a look at the Reebok Question Low Oatmeals, man. This is one of the first colorways to release back in 1999 with the Question Lows. I'm stupid happy to finally get this sneaker in my collection. Now, these released earlier on this month, May 7, 2024, suggested retail sticker of $120. And I must say, Reebok threw me a curveball. I did not know that they were going to release the shoot at midnight so i missed out on them and i had to go to StockX to pick this sneaker up we have the reebok allen iverson box right here the official colorway of the sneaker is question low size 11 i got my true size y'all white white light sand after 21 years they finally come back that's just crazy to me man but let's go ahead and get into this detail review it on feet y'all know i gotta smell them things this is a must i gotta hmm I ain't had a Reebok in the collection in a long time. And these things have officially been smell test approved by your border retro whiz kid. Let's get these things about the box. And we in there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Y'all already know these things are fuego to me, man. All of the above. I told you guys earlier on this month in a live, I had to get this question low oatmeal. This was a sneaker that I really did not want to pass up on. The colorway is just stupid dumb to me. I love the vibes on this sneaker. So let's go ahead. Let's start off with the bottom of the shoe. So starting off with the bottom of the shoe, I must say the sneaker in general lives up to par to the 1999 OG release. The biggest difference is this sole. The translucency on this sole right here is a lot darker than it was back in 1999. It's not as, you can't see through it as much as you could back in 1999. You can still see the Reebok symbol down there underneath the sole, but it's still a lot darker, I would say, than it was in 1999. Of course, you have that light sand hit right there underneath there for the Reebok and the symbol. The midsole, you have those hex Hexagon bubble units right there that we're so used to seeing on the questions. On the back of the midsole, you guys can see we have the three right there in that champagne with the white background. Now taking a look at the whole upper, the whole upper consists of a nice white tumbled leather. On the inner and outer panels, you do have that light sand champagne type hit for the Reebok symbol. Right there on the toe box, we have that nice sway. I really like that, man. That is a really nice touch to the sneaker. Taking a look at the tongue. We have that white netting right there on the tongue. We also have that champagne light sand hit on there with the Reebok symbol. I think they did a great job. Classic rope laces. When you take a look at the insole, we just have that light sand insole. And on the back, right there on the back heel, we do have the question right there with the Reebok symbol. These right here are just stupid fire to me. I cannot wait to get these. And I told you guys, I didn't mind paying resale to get them. At one point, these were going for like 300 some dollars. Of course, they dropped once people got them in hand. People was getting rid of them. But this was a must cop for your boy. I had to add these to the Sneaker Dungeon family, y'all. So with all that being said, y'all already know what time it is. We're going to throw these things on feet. Let's get straight to it. Yeah, review over the Allen Iverson question low oatmeals like I stated before 21 years later and they finally give us this colorway I had to get my hands on them y'all I had to get my hands on them let me know what you guys think about them did you guys pick these up did you even know that they released again because it's one of those I feel like sometimes when it comes to certain sneaker releases they fly under the radar but this one right here I've been tracking it off of sneaker news man and I just cannot wait to finally get this shoe in hand it came in on Thursday so I had to give you guys the full detail 
that review and on feet. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about them. If you own a pair of questions, smash that like button, comment down below. Let me know what questions you own inside of your collection. But this is my first pair of questions in a very long time. I'm glad to pick these up. Thank you for bringing them back, Allen Iverson and Reebok. 21 years later, hey, you never know when stuff gonna come back. It might take two decades and stuff will still come back, but that just goes to show how long things could possibly take sometimes. But it is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Peace, love, in Laguna Beach. I'ma spin them pictures for y'all, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yay! Earlier on this month, I was like, yo, I have to get the question low. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to mess that up. The bottom of the shoe has a translucent bottom. Now, I must tell y'all, when it comes to the translucent bottom on these, compared to the 1999 pair, the blue on these is a little bit darker, man. Actually, it's a lot bit darker, in my opinion. But normally, they're a little bit, the translucent was a little bit light. It was more see-through. You can still see on the bottom of the sneaker, though, the Reebok symbol behind everything. But it just says Reebok down there, as and, you can, and it says Hexalite on the bottom as well. But you can see, you can still... So starting off with the bottom of the shoe, I must say that the translucent sole, it's actually darker than it was in 1999. It was more, it was more ice, it, this is more of a deep ice blue if you, this is not as icy as you would think. To me this is more just like a deep blue. The biggest thing on this sneaker that's a little bit different, the rest of the sneaker lives up to par. The whole, the, the sneaker lives... So starting off with the bottom of the sneaker, I must say that the sneaker all in all lives up to par to the 1999 pair in my opinion. The only big difference that I would say is different is the translucency underneath this. So starting off with the so starting off with the bottom of the shoe because you guys know I love to start off with the bottom. I hope you guys enjoyed the full detail review over the question reba. If you own a pair of questions, smash that like button for your boy. And also comment down below. If you own a pair of questions. <laughs> Man, my shirt right here. Mm. Hey, hey, It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lace up these black cement threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bin